I'm Wally Amos. Read It Loud is a foundation that creates awareness about the benefits, the values, and the importance of parents, adults, reading aloud to children from birth to age six for at least 10 minutes a day. If you do that, you will have a reader. The idea is not just to learn to read, but to have a thirst for words, a love for reading. Reading aloud works. It's been working for generations, and it works today. Read it loud! Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. This is a neat little book. It's called Peter's Chair. Author, illustrator is Jack Keats. Scholastic is the publisher. Scholastic publishes, I think, more books, especially for children, than any other publisher. Peter stretched high as he could. His tall building was finished. Crash! Down it came. Shh! Called his mother. You'll have to play more quietly. Remember, we have a new baby in the house. Peter looked into his sister Susie's room. His mother was fussing around the cradle. That's my cradle, he thought. And they painted it pink. So you think Peter's jealous of his sister Susie that she's getting all the attention? I think so. Hi, Peter, said his father. Would you like to help paint sister's high chair? It's my high chair, whispered Peter. He saw his crib and muttered, my crib. It's painted pink, too. Not far away stood his old chair. Uh, they didn't paint that yet, Peter shouted. He picked it up and ran to his room. He's protecting his last piece of furniture that has not been painted pink. Let's run away, Willie, he said. Peter filled a shopping bag with cookies and dog biscuits. We'll take my blue chair, my toy crocodile, and the picture of me with a baby. Willie got his bone. They went outside and stood in front of his house. This is a good place, said Peter. He arranged his things very nicely and decided to sit in his chair for a while. But he couldn't fit in the chair. He was, what happened to Peter? He's too big. He's too big. He grew. And he's, so he's wishing he had a chair that he can't even sit in. His mother came to the window and called. Won't you come back to us, Peter dear? We have something very special for lunch. Peter and Willie made believe they didn't hear, but Peter got an idea. Soon his mother saw signs that Peter was home. How did Peter's mom know that he was in the room? Huh? His feet shows up under the drapes. That rascal is hiding behind the curtain, she said happily. She moved the curtain away, but he wasn't there. He tricked his mom. Here I am, shouted Peter. Peter. 
Peter sat in a grown-up chair. His father sat next to him. Daddy, said Peter, let's paint the little chair pink for Susie. So Peter has finally accepted his little sister Susie. And they did. Uh -huh. So sometimes if you're the oldest and you, a, a brother or a sister uh, comes uh, for you, um, you get a little jealous. Thanks for reading, guys. Thanks for being a great audience. Bye-bye. <laughs>